like that stand of trees far back? Yes, that's still my farm. There are those who believe that LGBTQ history, activism, and progress happens only on the coast. Most Americans think Kansas is a place LGBTQ people leave. No place like home is the story of why they stay. One of the people said, I need to go somewhere else where I can really be gay. But that's not the only thing that people are thinking about when they're making choices to live somewhere. No place like home is a story of people who chose to fight. It is a story of unexpected activism, of people who decided to make Kansas a better place. This is my land, this is my county. I'm not going to let bigotry run me off of the place that I love. We're in Trigo County. We're on the farm of Sandra Stenzel, whose grandparents homesteaded here in 1915. Three generations of Stenzels have lived here, and we love it. She's the, the, just the classic Kansas farm girl. It was just really a great sense of community. Sandra left Kansas for a career in Austin, but family obligations and her love of her Trago County farm brought her back, albeit a changed woman. I thought I had a choice. I thought I could choose not to be gay. I, it wasn't until much later in my life that I realized I had a choice between being happy or being so freaking miserable I wanted to die. Sandra had a great job in economic development. She was a leader in her community, active in politics. And then, almost overnight, it all came crashing down. All of this started in Kansas in 2004, 2005, when nationally, gay marriage became an issue. All these people from Lawrence and Kansas City and Wichita said, yeah, 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 we'll testify. And I'm thinking, I gotta go down there and testify too. They need to know that there are gay people in Western Kansas, that this is an entire statewide issue from border to border. For a lot of people that meant going public with their lives. And the last thing I said was, my job is being director of economic development in Trigo County. And that's a hard job. Don't pass this legislation and make my job any harder than it already is. I woke up the next morning and I turned on my computer and my email inbox was full. And I'm like, what the hell? And so I started clicking and it was like this person saying, hey, I saw you on the front page of the Hayes Daily. Hey, I saw you on the front page of the Wichita Eagle. Oh my God, did everybody notice. And that's when things started burning with a hot flame. You didn't just lose your job, you lost what you felt at the time, despite all of this public support you had. It felt as if you'd lost your reputation. So, so what happened? They were looking for any reason to fire me. And they went through every email I ever sent, every letter I ever wrote. They confiscated my computer. They went through everything. The county attorney was convinced I had gay porn on my office computer. I didn't get fired for being gay. I got fired for talking about being gay. Almost everyone I talked to in the book was responding to a threat of some sort, and they saw an injustice happening, and they, they thought, you know, someone needs to stand up and fight this injustice. No place like home takes you on a tour of a deep red state, to Dodge City, Salina, and Hutchinson, to meet people who found themselves in a decade-long battle for LGBTQ rights because they loved Kansas. You can just tell how much they love their town and their, their community and their neighbors. And in the case of Sandra, who lives outside of town, you can tell how much she loves this beautiful place. And it's a story and struggle that is far from over. We have to do what we can, where we are, with what we've got. And where I am is in the middle of western Kansas, in the reddest part of the state, where people, it's easier to be gay than it is to be Democrat. And just start where you are and do something. Every year there's at least one rally of LGBT folks at the state capitol in Topeka. And in recent years, the folks who go to those rallies have been overwhelmingly young people. And there was also this emergence of transgender folks in public life. 
In Kansas, that was happening well before it was happening around the rest of the country. I think you'll see LGBT people helping other folks learn how to be activists, learn how to be allies, learn how to sort of conquer your fear and go out in public and let your voice be known, even though it can be scary at times. You have a lot of LGBT people who've risked their lives to help make the world a better place for everyone. We need to name our adversaries and we need to name the bigotry and we need, we need to call it out when we see it and not be afraid of it because if you can take that step of standing there and naming it, if you look behind you, there will be thousands of people standing behind you.